Hello, I'm Jenny Cathcart. I'm in the Gordon Gallery in Derry with Morris Harron, whose exhibition is on at the moment. When I saw the towers, I immediately thought of the Twin Towers. Is there any relevance in that or not? There's a slight relevance. I mean, uh, not consciously. I mean, uh, to me, uh, the, the, they represent a kind of a, a, a contemporary anxiety. You know, that, um, you know that there's a sort of a sense of isolation. The towers, of course, are the great symbol of, of you know, it's the beginning of our contemporary, the, the, the break in the lovely, the confidence that the West had, the first fracture of the whole, uh, you know, the lovely, happy, confident world we all lived in. Suddenly, when we saw the, the, the most amazing towers in the world collapsing, we thought, my God, anything can fall. So, that's so, but my towers are, are not, you know, they're not really a reference to that, but they're a reference really to the sense that um, communities and individuals live in, in sort of isolated groups. And that's been intensified more and more by the sort of uh, sense of worry and anxiety that's happening in the economic turmoil that's happening in the last year. And um, so I, I've made them as kind of a metaphor for that, a little bit of that worry and that bit of isolation that's happening in our, right at the moment. I wanted something of 2009. Yeah. Because they have various titles like apathy and um, yeah, there there are there are, there are smaller there are smaller there are very, all the towers of different levels and the very very tall pieces are all you know have groups of people on them and basically they're not doing really much really but the lower down ones tend, tending to look at individual little individual cameos little individual stories the very tall ones are just you know just groups of you know anonymous people but the one you refer to the, the apathy ones are like a little reflection on it's a metaphor really for you know relationships describe to us your journey i mean we've all been through the trouble troubles mm -hmm. but with your artist's eye and your feelings and sentiments obviously it has contributed massively to your work yeah, well, I think it's, it's affected everybody. I mean, I, and I've deliberately looked at it. I've looked at the troubles, but I mean, through the troubles, it was a shock to me, the whole, when that thing, when it erupted. It was a shock to everybody, and it, it fractured the whole society, fractured relationships, people that were friends. You know, there was a split happening there, just by the nature of the, 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 what was happening. I got out, I left. I left here and went to, to the south of Ireland, during the troubles, really, and you know, made life there, um, set up home there, made career there, and then in 1989 decided to come back. And at that time, the troubles were still there. The the, the violence was there. The dislike, the you know, the, the fracture in the community was there. And my, you know, the, the end of the, I, I'd been a, a painter. I mean, I did a, quite a lot of. Um, you know, various kinds of art, artworks and design work, in fact, for years. But then when I came up here, opportunity came for a public piece of art in the city, at the entrance of the city at Carlisle Square, at, at the Craig Avenue Bridge. So I thought, you know, looking at it and visiting the site, it just the image of the, 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 two, um, the two people, the two men who would sit, I thought would represent this, something to do with these two communities. Well, that sort of appeared. And I, you know, I made, you know, originally the piece was conceived as just two men staring at each other across, a, you know, on, on broken walls. There was no gesture. Originally, it was a very different feeling of a thing. And I had made that over and over for that, you know, over a number of weeks. And during the make the reflection making process, that uh, that late November of '89, the Berlin Wall fell. The whole Eastern Europe thing suddenly opened up. Glasnost, Perestroika, um, the whole breaking down of the dislike between the Iron Curtain countries and the West happened. And I thought, if that can happen there, you know, with, with societies that are great and enmity, could something not happen here? And then I thought, what about making, you know, make that gesture? Uh, it's called reconciliation, but. And across the water. This, that's, it's called, people give it their own names, and that's what it is. You know, either agreement, peace, business, even business, part partnership, government, 
you know, positive things. You know. When you say it's been used all over the world, are there specifics? Well, different groups have asked me, you know, have emailed me to say, can we use it on our logo for a thing? And, you know, groups of people who maybe, you know, and I, I mean, I don't keep a record of things like that, but it's been, it's paper TV, and it's been used as a sort of symbol of,